called midwinter? I know, the greys came in all at once. You're 48. I need, like, visual evidence that I'm this age. Is that your sperm? Yes. Let's get together and we'll have a baby. But seriously, if you uh, want to pop out a goonie or two out of this old pirate's cove, I think you've got time. You really need to do something worthwhile with your life. Fred, do you want to have a baby with me? Yeah. Sex. Yeah. When are they gonna do it? All right. Well, why don't we ease into it? Okay. Like what? It... Right. Sixty-nine is this, 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 this. It's like an X, right? Right. So I get aroused, aroused, aroused. Go on top, on top, on top. Uh, little jackhammer, kind of. I mean, do you want a dry hum? I picture eyes closed, maybe hands out to the side. Do you need magazines? Yes. Okay. Well, I just have the New Yorker. Kind of a slow reader. Anything there about foreign people, just kind of like Euro ladies? Well, I think there's a thing in Talk of the Town about a woman that's like shopping at a local farmer's market. Y yes? She's at the farmer's market and, and she's feeling around for, for melons. <laughs> Pants off. Shit. All right, you ready? So this is me, I'm coming towards you. Okay, I'm, then... oh, I'm spreading. There we are, and, and that's me right there. And in. And out. Yeah, but not fully out. No. Just so. In, in, and out. In, in, and out. out. Here we go. So I'm almost gonna do it. Okay, great. And great, great. here we go. Good, 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 good. Ta-da! <laughs> you just finished on my stomach. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm just so used to doing it that way. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, let's try again. Okay. We get started, and in, in and out. out. In, in, and out. out. There we go, and ta-da! You did the same thing. Uh, don't worry about it. I can just use the mayor's sperm. The mayor's sperm? He gave me a canister of it. That's great. I want some of that. You didn't really need me then, did you? This was kind of like pity sex in a way. I mean, you're my best friend. I guess I felt bad that I wasn't going to have a baby with you. Well, then we dodged the bullet. I'm glad we didn't have a baby. All right. Hey, uh, Mr. M, I used to go to school here, and you were my guidance counselor. Hmm. Doesn't ring a bell. Remember? My hair was darker. Oh, yeah. I remember now. A little Frankie Armistein. No, Fred Armisen. That's what I said, Frankie Armistein. Well, I'm 48 now, and I haven't done anything with my life, really, except for, like, going gray. So maybe you could help me. Hmm. I've got some brochures here that you might want to take a look at. Have you ever thought about going back to school? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's like I wouldn't even know where to go. Damn. I'll tell you what. Here's one on marriage. Getting married. By the time everything worked out, I'd be like 55 or something. Damn, there go another one. You can have a baby with your female best friend. You know, I've tried it already, and it didn't quite work out. Did you? On her stomach? Yeah. I was on her stomach twice. It's just like out of habit. Is there anything I could do that's just instant and immediate? You know, no training, no years, just something quick. Uh, no. Oh, damn it. Let me ask you a question. You ever think about moving to a new city? Moving to another city, huh? Yeah. Why is it good to move to another city? That's an instant conversation piece. Everybody in Portland will be saying, wow, little Frankie Armstein moved out of town. He's bettering himself. You think people would react that way? Yeah, because it's a brand new environment, brand new lifestyle, and you can make brand new friends. Austin, for one, is a good place to settle. Austin? Austin, Texas. But do I have to apply? All it takes is for you to get in your car and drive. That sounds pretty great. All right. Hey, yeah, I'm moving to Austin. I'm leaving here, leaving Portland, and I'm gonna kind of be technically a Texan. I'm gonna have a baby. Finally, I have a purpose, you know? You're, they're making fun of me that I'm, I'm an Austin guy. No, I'm not. I'm gonna visit. I'm basically gonna go home and like put a turkey baster at me. And it's gonna be awesome. I'm moving to Austin. You heard me, right? I'm gonna have a baby. I moved to Austin. Austin, Texas. I'm having a kid. Austin, Austin, Texas. Baby, baby, baby. 
Howdy. Austin. Portland. Listen, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Bad news for me, I'm losing one of my best Portlanders ever. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Good news for you, he's coming to your city. Oh, well, that's wonderful news. Can you give him a good Austin welcome? Well, of course. We'll get him a big hat. He'll fit right in. Well, I appreciate it, Austin. Thank you. Keep it weird. 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 He's in good hands. Hey. It's hitting me like you're, you're actually leaving. Yeah, I'm like really moving. We're gonna be just old friends now, like. No, I mean, there's still like, you know, airplanes and Skype and everything. I know. I guess what I'm saying is I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. I should probably skedaddle. Yeah, yeah, you should, you should get going. I mean, I suppose the car's kind of like a horse. You know, it knows its own way. Are you doing an accident? No, it's still me. Okay, you should probably, you know, use a map or. Well, I mean, I got my guidance and I got my, my wits. Uh, I feel less and less like I'm gonna cry. Well, maybe because you know that we're good friends for life. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hug. Now you get over here and give me a hug. Okay. Good old Texas hug. Nope, just in Texas they hug the same. Okay, well, drive safe. All right, man. Wandering in the car. Don't forget if you write a letter to put a stamp on it. Drive safe, friend. You know, the post may not deliver on Sunday. You know that, I hope. Your trip to Austin has been shortened by seven minutes. Oh, great news. In 1,000 feet, turn left. Thank you, Maze. Wait a minute. It's a dead end. Would you like to reroute to Long John Silver's? No, I don't want to reroute to Long John Silver's. What kind of question is that? Boy, it's a lot of side streets. I'd like kind of more of a direct way to uh, Austin. I found a shortcut, recalculating. In 100 feet, proceed through graveyard. Uh, does this seem right, Maze? Oh my god, where am I? Okay, so are you basting something? My ovaries. Nice, congrats. Thank you. Hold on a sec. Hi, can I help you? Are you Carrie? Yeah, why? <laughs> I found her! <laughs> Sorry, who are you guys? We're the mayor's kids. You're a new mommy. I think you're mistaken. You're definitely not my kids, and the mayor does not have kids. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you coming by. You guys are really cute, and I'd be happy to buy whatever you're selling. Welcome to the family. Whose family? I have my own family. Okay, well, thanks for coming by. If you'd like me to sign a petition or... Is that your kitchen? Yeah. Let's get a snack. You guys aren't getting a snack here. We're home! No, hey, I don't think so, guys. Hey, come on! Yellow. You already have kids? Yeah, I got tons of them. Why? I'm so confused. Why would you ask to artificially inseminate me if, if you already have kids? Well, I said if you didn't have anything going on. I'm the mayor. I got lots going on. There was never any question of that. OK, so, so you want me to raise your kids? Yeah. We're out of OJ. I thought this could be a nice way to practice. You know, have a few Dad, kids around the house. Dad. Dad, 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 dad. Oh, dad, let's do that. Dad, 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 yeah, dad, yeah, yeah. Dad, 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 dad. Hey! These kids don't have any manners. They're all over my kitchen. They're drinking my orange juice. They're drinking your orange juice. I thought you wanted a baby. I do want a baby. It's just. Hey, look, kids are crazy. You just gotta roll with it. All right, have fun. Bye. Thanks. All right, I just got off the phone with your dad. I'm sorry, I'm a little discombobulated. He uh, doesn't understand us. You do. Really? You know, if you want, we don't even have to invite him to Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think you, you were getting ahead of ourselves here. I don't know. We're kind of a family now. Yeah. You're like the best mom we've ever had. We love you. Hi. Hi. On behalf of Austin, Texas, I'd like to welcome you with a little gift basket here. We got Dos Equis, some barbecue sauce, and a few chilies and other doodads. Thank you very much. That's so kind. The mayor will see you now. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Hey. I I'm Fred. So nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Please sit down. Yes. How was your trip? It was really good. I just came all the way from Portland, and <laughs> I'm moving to Austin. Yeah, so I heard. Oh, listen. This is for you. It's something just to make you feel a little more at home. How's that? Well, that looks all right. That looks all right. So have you decided what neighborhood you might want to live in? Uh, I'm thinking someplace cool, like a cool part of town. Cool part of town. Well, listen. I've got just a thing. 
The Housing Department and the Department of the Mayor present How to Find a Cool Neighborhood. I'm your host, the Mayor. Well, this looks like a pretty cool neighborhood. It's got a coffee shop, it's got a record store, it's got three bars. All the bartenders got real instant hair. But it's not the cool neighborhood. You know why? Strollers. That's right, strollers started popping up everywhere. Pretty soon there was a baby clothing store on the corner. Not cool. Take a look at this neighborhood. It's a dump. It's a kind of neighborhood with an intimidating cat. Not cool. Oh, here's a neighborhood. It's got a coffee shop, it's got a record store, it's only got one bar, but the owner went to high school with Iggy Pop. Cool. What you're looking for are people like this. Her, her, him, him. What you're not looking for is him and the cat. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Not cool. Welcome to Austin. Did you enjoy it on a scale of one to five? Five being the best, one being the worst. It's five all the way through. Well, then we have done our job. Enough with the pillows, you guys. All right, this is the house. Mom, what? Gus left himself in his room. Wait, he has a room? Yeah. I'm not talking to anybody. This is the bathroom. No. We can't hear you. We can't you. hear you. What? Are you and dad getting a divorce? Uh, your dad and I aren't even dating. But when your baby finally arrives, are you still gonna love us? I don't love you. I, I, I've never loved you. The only relationship I have with your sisters and your brother is that you're living at my house. <laughs> uh, do, do you guys want to get orange juice? Do, do you want to get some OJ at the store? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Baby, you're so tasty, tasty. I don't really want to waste it. Baby, let's get hasty, hasty. I love it when you shake that. So put your back into it and let your mind go. You got to run right through it and make my mind go wild. I know you want to go crazy. I know you want to go wild. So jump on go crazy. Jump, 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 jump. So put your back into it. So put your back into it. Get out of the room. Hey, those are my kids you're honking at. Hi, I moved to Austin. Yeah. I moved here. Yeah. Hey, neighbor. Hi, I just moved to Austin. Yeah, I, I see that. I live here now in Texas. That's where we are. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this conversation is a little boring. I'm gonna head in. No, 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 don't, don't go. You know what? I have more to say. A little announcement. It's kind of interesting. I'm moving. I'm gonna move cities to Nashville. Nashville? Nashville, Tennessee. Wow, man, that's a big move. Yeah. It sounds like you got a lot going on in your life. That's a big step, that's great. Good luck. Thanks a lot, bye. Yeehaw! Hi, I moved here. So what? Hi, I moved here. Whatever. Get on the boat, fix the sails, tie her down. What is this place? Seville, end of the line for drifters and wanderers. Where does that boat go? It's the biggest move of all, move abroad. Wow. You'll be an expat. OK. Get on the boat. I just moved here. Heidi, tidy, manly, yours, the next bat I shall be. Your life abroad, they'll all look up when I show them my foreign ID. Hey, that's me. Idly, idly, woodly, we living across the sea. Old friends will wonder where I've been. I heard from Jack Pease in Berlin. Sailing all the way to Gay Paris. I'll probably grow a goatee. You seem cooler now. Merci. As time goes on, we won't go home. Abandoned friends in old time zones. Yes, we'll miss weddings and funerals too. Surrounded by strangers and lands that are new. I never really thought of it that way. Um, I thought this was a pirate ship. Who the hell?
hell are these people? We're sailing away to the setting sun. And I will speak Dutch as my native tongue. We'll all disappear, disappear like, like Robert Crumb. Cause Paris is cool and America's dumb. We're off to where the grass is green. Say goodbye to this old routine. Give me only sweet oblivion. We're never coming home. What? Never? Not coming home. I'll never see Carrie again. Turn it around. We're never Edgar, turn, coming please. home. Please, turn around. I don't want to go. Yeah, I want to curl up on top of your head and like a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. What's that? Look, that's your daddy's sperm. What? Why is it in that weird can? It should be stuffed up inside your body. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I've been busy with you guys. Mm. What? Yeah. Oh, gross. Are you even a real mom? No, I've been totally clear on that. She was clear about that. I think I'm going to be sick. Wait, but guys, I mean, where are you going? We're running away. No. Hey, get back here. I don't know. What kind of a family is you? Yeah. You're like the best mom I've ever had. We love you. Why is it in that weird can? It should be stuffed up inside your body. Body, body. How's my baby mama? Uh, well, her kids... I mean, your adult kids, uh, they ran away. Did you make them mad? Apparently. It's like they loved me so much, and then they just turned on me so quickly. They do that. I have a pretty good idea where they are. Hi, right, tickets to mom, please. Oh, this is mom. Please silence all cell phones and pagers. The play you're about to see tonight is based on real events. I'm mom. A lonely woman in the world. I want to have kids, but I don't know if I'm ready for it. Can I love? The answer is no. Uh, this knock, is bullshit. Knock. Will you let no, us no, in? No, 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 no. Stay, 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 stay. Whoa! Look at this place. <laughs> it's rooms and a bathroom and a kitchen. Wait a minute. Hey, Mom, can we have some orange juice? This is my house. Carrie. These are my that's, things. That's not how it happened. No! Okay, well, that's true. They drink all my orange juice. No. Yeah. Mayor, it's me. I just want to be a selfish, single spinster all my life. I don't need anybody. I'm not talking to anybody. I'll buy you some OJ if you come out. Jesus, there's 10 acts. No. Just being a good mom. I love it. Time for orange juice at the supermarket. What is a family? Terrible play, but I just feel pride. What's happening? Your mom. You just lose all perspective and love everything your kids do. I hate that. Is that sad? Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Hopkins, and I'm a gynecologist. That's nice. Well, we are here to celebrate a very special woman. Now, I'm not a pastor. I'm a guy who gets my fingers in. Kimmy. Fred. You're back. And your hair's black. What are you doing? Are you tying the knot with who? Yeah, no, I'm it's, she's tying the knot. The, the tying her tubes. I'm tying her tubes. I'm a gynecologist. Oh. Exactly. I mean, this is about self-acceptance. I accept who I am, which is an old spinster. I've come to a huge realization of my own about accepting myself the way that I am. 
Then why did you dye your hair back? That's exactly it. I don't accept the way that I am. A little one, that's all. I mean, I, I accept you for that, then. Wow, I mean, maybe that's why you two are such... Are you friends? Come on. Maybe that's why you're such good friends. Are you such good friends? We're yes. such good friends. Maybe that's why you're such good friends. Because whether or not we accept ourselves, we accept each other. No. Oh. I felt like you kind of begged for right. Woo! Ow! Woo! That's nice. Yeah! Come on. Come on. Well, we've got all our friends here, and there's cake. I mean, I know the sex thing didn't work out, but... It never does. But maybe we could just get married. I don't think so. OK. My heart was pounding there for a second, because I'm a gynecologist. I don't know the first thing about we that. We know that. Give it a shot. Right. Come on. Yes. Well, you're here. We've got a crowd. I've got my equipment. Why don't we tie up that cooch of yours, huh? Doctor. No. No, 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 no. You know what? I'd prefer if you just gave Fred a vasectomy. I'd love to give that a shot. Baby, you're so tasty, tasty. I don't really want to waste it. Baby, let's get hasty, tasty. I love it when you shake that. Got some uh, baskets with money. Uh, please feel free to contribute whatever you want. We're just doing what we do and we enjoy it. And uh, it's all for you and all for fun. And so, uh, That's all? Or don't. Hey, John, that was so good. Crazy. Wild.